Hello there. This is Jordan Earls. Today we're gonna fork some altcoins. So, I actually already tried this once and the video messed up combined with the chain did not take to the new fork. I believe this is because the fork was too broad. I tried forking 15,000 blocks and even though the chain was valid and new wallets would sink if I added the node manually, the natural network did not broadcast it, and so it did not spread to other nodes. So, this time, we're just going to uh, be trying to fork only, oh, about uh, 1,500 nodes. We have to wait for that to sync for a second. I will. No, not that. Damn it. Why does video not work? Pause. All right. We almost have everything done thinking. Wait, no, we don't. God damn it. Terrible at this, aren't I? All right. Almost done for real this time. So basically, what I've done is I have a special instance of XD coin, modified it to basically reject the uh, main blockchain, and instead it will uh, fork off at block five 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 zero zero fifty five thousand five hundred. And as you can see, it stopped at 499. Not sure, I might have to kick the daemon into, uh, into gear. It probably thinks it's still... Oh no, it's, it's making blocks now. So the difficulty for this is 0 0.002. That is extremely, extremely low. For reference, bitcoins is 12 billion. And earlier in my testing for 10,000 blocks, I was able to orphan the entire main chain in about 300 blocks and push the difficulty up to 1200. Um, basically, I just have a rented, rented miner over here. Not not hard stuff. In my little pool, you can see it's accepting blocks. Basically, every share is a block because the difficulty is so ridiculously low that. Actually, the share difficulty right now is higher than the block difficulty. My share difficulty is set to... Um, to 127. And as you can see, the block difficulty is still 0 0.007. So it take, it'll take take about 100 blocks before that actually gets warmed up. Let's go ahead and monitor the... Uh, so this is the block that I, that I forked at. I'm not going to go into the details of how I made the daemon actually fork. Um, I assume that people that are concerned with it actually know how to make it fork. I'm not going to give any hints out for other people though. Just because don't really... It's not hard knowledge to master or anything. It's not hard to do. Just don't want to give the power to everyone I guess. If you're smart enough to know, hopefully you're smart enough to uh, also know not to exploit it. So as you can see, we've already minted 67 blocks in, what, a minute? And the usual confirmation number is about 6 blocks. So if we're able to mint 67 blocks, that means we can mint 6 blocks, send it to, to an address, and then mint 6 more blocks to confirm it, and then go back right over our own fork, etc., etc., and do that basically to double spin just at will. So, yeah, that's pretty bad, actually. And my computer is being somewhat unresponsive, but it'll be okay. I tried CPU mining at first, and that actually works. It appears that the only miner left on the network right now is a single very weak single CPU VM of some sort, or v virtual private server. 
I mean, I was finding blocks in one second with just my normal processor, so very weak hash power. And also the proof of stake difficulty is minimum for fcrypt. They could fix this by changing the minimum proof of stake difficulty. And then it would actually work with their very low supply. So you can see the money supply is super, super low. Um, you can't just pretend that minimum difficulty doesn't exist. If you're making a low supply coin, you need to know what that actually means. Otherwise, you're going to end up with proof of stake not working. I mean, I use my block, my custom block explorer. Well, it's not even really a block explorer. It's more like a little debug logger thing that I use for code reviews. And uh, determine that basically about maybe 10%, 10, 5 to 10% of all blocks on the network are proof of stake. So, yeah, that's not very many blocks. Now, as you can see, we've already minted 244 blocks. If we forked at block 5,500, 5, god damn, 55,500. So we're already 344 blocks ahead. Difficulty is already 582. Holy shit. Like, see if the block explorer is forked yet. I kind of think it might have. Oh, looky there. Yep, just orphaned. All those blocks. Thousand blocks orphaned. Just gone. Oh. Yeah, as you can see, here was the previous chain. I won't refresh that page. As you can see, 5,753. And now suddenly it's 5,508. So, yeah. It forked. So, whatever this guy said. Let's go look at what he said real quick. Yeah. Applied to Earl's, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. Hopefully I don't have anything private in here. Yeah. Now talking about 51% attack on the network and double spend or whatever is nonsense. I personally ask you, personally, asking me to do that kind of attack on the XD network. Please try it. There you go. I answered your request. I even used the the partial fund that you sent me to review it with, or someone did, for like two dollars or something. And uh, yeah, currently XD does not need this big power mining or high difficulty. Well, it doesn't need it, but if you provide it, then the chain tends to fork. So, let's see. Yep, there you go. Just reset. Go ahead and get that in. Ah, crap. Yeah. Hit difficulty was 0 0.007 at 5,826. And now it is at a much lower block count, and the difficulty is much higher. I think I might make the chain get stuck. Oops. Um, I'm not completely cold-hearted, though. I did make a special version of the wallet to preserve the old chain. Oh. Oops, that didn't work, so... Fuck. I thought I did. I should have, I guess. Oh, maybe I, uh... I guess I didn't... Let's see. Oh. I didn't make the checkpoint. No, it's there. I must not have compiled it or some shit. That sucks. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to completely destroy the chain. I meant to make it restorable. Um, maybe it still lives. Well, I don't fucking know. If that checkpoint didn't do shit. Yeah, so either way, um, sorry about that, forking off 1,500 blocks. I didn't mean to be that mean. I meant to, but yeah, so I think this is pretty much over.
And as you can see, it's still finding tons of blocks, tons of shares, block every le in less than a minute. So 8,000. Took difficulty from 0 .003 to 8,000. Block this block explorer has forked. If we actually, uh, this is the block that we forked at. God damn it, where'd it go? Uh, not that. Yeah, this one. So if we actually go and look up this block now. Uh, uh oh. Didn't take their explorer down, did I? No. Okay, let me just copy that real quick. Yeah, the block cache is 179. And previously it was 3B2. If I forked that block off. Sorry about anyone that sent transactions. Um, I seriously meant to make this like reversible with a uh, code change to the wallet. But it doesn't look like I actually managed to pull that off correctly. So yeah, there's the old chain. Really low proof of work difficulty, and here's the new chain. Really stupidly high proof of work difficulty, along with very short block count. I mean, I could do even more crazy stuff with this, like, I mean, there's no reward for mining, so I'm not getting any money out of it, but, I mean, I could double spend. There's money to be made there. I mean, there's a fucking exchange. Holy shit. I mean, uh, where the hell? Yeah, let's make sure this block explorer forked off as well. Oh, I broke it. Oh no, that block doesn't exist yet. Because we forked it. So, let's see. No, not that. You goddamn. There we go. Yeah, so there's the new new blocks. All minted by here truly this XPJY. That's my address. Yeah. Um Yeah, I mean you can go on to Read this if you really want. Yeah, I really... Some people just don't listen. They don't understand the security. And even though there's no issue, that doesn't mean there's not a security problem. So... Yeah, the two pose take some time. Yeah, I, I didn't do that. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have tried to convince them harder, but... When people tend to say, I don't know what I'm talking about, it kind of bums me out. So. Yeah. I'm just gonna write some kind of smug post here, probably. It's really a shame, because it's, I mean, the dev won't listen, but it's not the fucking dev that suffers from this. It's, it's the investors and traders and the exchange of mining pools. Well, this doesn't have pools, but... I mean, so it kind of sucks. Maybe I shouldn't have done this, but... Some people just don't understand that... If I didn't do this, someone else could have and could have done a double spend with it. I just orphaned off the chain to make a point. So, yeah. I think I'm going to kill my miner. Well, if I can, maybe I'll have to just kill the pool. I think that's a no refund thing. Wasted five dollars forking this coin, by the way. Five dollars for eight hours of five terahashes, I think. Let's see. Yeah, four point six terahashes for what? About five dollars, two dollars, three dollars. So yeah. 
If you have zero reward proof of work, you need if you need to fork it and fix it. Fix your proof of stake to actually work. Don't assume proof of work at zero rewards is secure at all. Because anyone can 51% attack it, do double spins, do whatever. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and kill this. Oh, I can't. Oh, die. Die! Fucking restart script. Okay. Stop the damn then. Yeah, I mean that's that's all really all I have to have to show. I have to say. Heed my my security warnings. Also, there was one saving grace that XD could have enabled to actually prevent me from doing this. That is sync checkpoints. You basically configure the sync checkpoint key to have a private to have a public key that you own. And then you uh, make a server, a server that you don't publish the details of or anything, of course. And you make a special version of the wallet which has your private key within it, populated as the, I think it's called the master key field or master key something. Sync sync checkpoints dot, dot CPP. If you enable, if you fill in the private key there and then just run it on the network, it'll just do sync checkpoints and prevent huge chains and forks from happening. Um, so it's kind of centralized because the developer kind of has control over the chain in a way. Like he could have done this um, if he had sync, like if he had sync checkpoints, he could have still done this. He could have still double spent and broke everything. But yeah. Okay, that's really pretty much it. I'm going to stop it here.